for now. So just uh, enable the Ripley engine. Or maybe both. Okay, so. Uh, is the fonts okay? I mean, uh, everybody can see it on the screen. I would say it's pretty small. Uh, yeah. I guess so. So how do you? Hmm. Let me think of this. Uh, preference. Why it offers that option if it's invalid? Uh, well, doesn't work that well, huh? Oh, okay. Well, I never played with the founts of it before, so. And uh, it doesn't allow me to. Yeah, just, just it didn't, it doesn't have the uh, founts in the. Um, well, I guess uh, we probably don't have any other choice but to just go with it. And uh, if we can figure out how to uh, make it bigger, uh, probably have uh, another session or something. Uh, okay. Um, Uh, sorry about that. Okay, so now now the program. So now we start start a total view. Okay, but the program hasn't been launched. Uh, so you hit the go button. Oh, this is screen triangle. Okay. Uh, well, I probably couldn't uh, read it, but. Uh, uh, you know, uh, the, the window just pop up says process MPI run RSH is a parallel job. Do you want to stop the job now? So this is this is uh, quite confusing uh, when I first started using uh, to total view because you know the, the program hasn't started yet and, and it asks you if you wanted to stop it. Um, so this is actually what it means is uh, you know it, it hits the, uh, the point where all the MPI process is bound to be spawn spawned out. And ask you if you want to, you know, stop there, and, and you know, uh, set up the you know, breakpoint and stuff like that. Okay, if you want to stop the execution there, to do whatever you do for the debugging. Okay, so you need, you, you should answer yes. Um, okay. So now we have 
actually two windows here, okay? So this window called the root window, okay? It shows you uh, process ID. This is, this is the process ID for total view, okay? It's not, not the MPI rank. And this rank column is what the MPI rank is, okay? And uh, host is, you know, it's, it's a where you, the, all the all those processes are running, okay? So in this case, everything's local because, you know, I just started a process on one node, okay? If you have process running on a re remotely, it will show the host name of, of the node where the process is running, okay? The status, uh, this is where, uh, you know, this is where it shows you the status of your uh, program. There are a few possible uh, status marks, okay? So it could be B, it means it's at, at a breakpoint, E means error, H means being held, K means it's, it's running in the kernel mode, and M means, you know, the threads, the threads under the current, uh, that process is in uh, either running, some, is, some threads are running, some threads probably idling or, or you know, stopped or, or <coughs> stopped at a breakpoint, okay? And R means running, T means stopped, which is what, what we have uh, right here. And uh, use the mouse pointer rather than pointing at the screen. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I, Thank you. I, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the hazard. Uh, okay. So W means at a uh, watch point. Okay. So the difference now, the, the only thing I want to point out here is the difference between H and, uh, and T. Okay. The stop and help. Uh, stop means the ex execution kind of uh, halted or, you know, uh, stops, uh, uh, pauses, I'm sorry. Uh, help, being held means you put a hold on that process and then process stop responding to any, any command you issue to it, okay? So if you held a process and you say all process go, uh, everybody else go except that one, okay? So once you hold a process, only it will only respond to the release command, okay? All right, so this is the user interface. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, this is a root window. And uh, the other window we have here is called process window, okay? So, uh, well, small accident, I guess. Uh, so, uh, all right, so this, this process window uh, has, uh, you know, uh, quite a few panes or, or sub windows. Okay, so uh, the stack trace is is where you know is where it displays the call stack. Okay, and stack frame is where you know all the you know uh, the the information about all the values you have in your register, and as well as uh, all lo where the local variables uh, are reviewed. And uh, this this window here is called a source window. Uh, now it shows assembler code, but if you click on, because this is a, a, if you click on the function name in the in the stack trace uh, sub window, it will switch to it will show the source code. Okay, so uh, this is a uh, also in the in the st stack trace window, it shows you what language the source code is written with, okay? So uh, because this, this code SR is a F, F Fortran 90 code, so it has a F90 uh, to the left of it. Okay, so this is the source code, and uh, and the la the window at the bottom, there are, are three different tabs there, okay? So, uh, well, I, I'm not sure what's in, what, what, what the name of this sub window because there's so you know some three different things there. Okay, so it's just uh, the first tab shows you all the action points. Okay, break points and, and, and stuff because we don't have any, so it's a uh, it's uh, the window is blank. Uh, the process tab, if you click on it, now you have um, because we started the program with eight processes. Now we have uh, well the the P1 is MPI run RSH okay this is kind of like the, you know the managing process and then you have zero through seven this is the rank of the MPI process you have okay and if we click on threads uh, there's only one thread in in, in in this under this process okay 
Uh, so this is basically, this is, uh, uh, of course, you have the control uh, command there, okay? So you have go, which means go forward, you know, start the execution, and hot, of course, you can pause the execution, okay, stop the execution. You can kill it, I'm gonna restart it, and uh, so this is, you know, pretty standard uh, debugger stuff. So uh, uh, next means uh, go to the next statement, statement. If there's a subfunction call, you know, kind of skip it, don't go into the, the subroutine or the function. And stab means, you know, uh, means the opposite, okay? If, there, if there's a subfunction call, you know, go in that function. L means to the end of the current function. And also, if you click on, if you use your mouse, you click on any line on, on the code, uh, this run to um, icon uh, will, uh, you know, you can click on this to let it run to that point, okay? And these, you have the go back, you have the prev, you have the on step, the caller back to. So these are the buttons for the replay engine, okay? So basically, the go back is like the counterpart of go, okay? If you set, you know, if you have a two uh, breakpoint, uh, well, if, 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 if you hit go and there's a breakpoint ahead, it will stop at the, that breakpoint, right? And if you hit go back, and if there's a breakpoint behind, you know, before that point, it will stop at that breakpoint. Um, okay. we'll, we'll show a little bit uh, later on with with uh, um, all the uh, how how with you know when when we show how to set the action points. Okay, uh, so now we're just you know getting kind of familiar with with the interface. Uh, All right, we've done this. Okay, so when control your execution, I'm sorry, uh, because now if you're if you're debugging a sequential program, uh, you just you know let it go forward and go back, you know that kind of thing. But for a parallel program, you need to be aware of the scope of the command. By, by scope of the command, I mean if you do, do you want, you know, all MPI pro all the processes to go forward, or you only want one process to go forward, or you want a you know a, a subset of the processes to go forward. Okay, so this is this this small window here, uh, this pull down manual here. It has the scope of the command. Okay, uh, and there there are quite a few uh, items there. Um, so, uh, you know, uh, so this is this corresponds to uh, different uh, groups, uh, the uh, uh, total view set in place, okay? So the very first it called, uh, well, actually, if you have this, you have, have downloaded the slides, uh, you can see it here. If you can't see the, uh, you know, uh, what I have here uh, clearly, you can check uh, what what's on the, uh, slide okay so group control basically means uh, everybody it's so all the processes that uh, you know, is created by a program okay the only set except uh, you know most likely you have you know one control group okay so this is everybody but um, uh, the, the uh, one exception uh, is if you have a you know kind of like a, a server and a client you know the server will be uh, one control group, and and the client will be uh, another. Okay, they will 